scores 2-0 to Super Strikers, and Big Bo's had nothing to do all game. Oh! Ah! Ah! Nakama are in Super Strikers' box! Woo! Ah, nothing to get excited about, Brenda. Block is there. But if he doesn't get this tackle right, it's a penalty for sure. Huh? No problem for the big man. Block's the cleanest tackler in the Super League. You rock, Block! A turbo! Yeah! yeah! Right All on, right. man! Listen up, guys. The Robotics and Football Exhibition is coming up next week. Prof? Oh, uh, well, we thought we'd do something special this year, so I've made a robot. Of one of you. Huh? Hmm? Uh, must be Cool Joe. He does the best robot. <laughs> it must be me. Why replicate anyone less good looking than the great El Matador? Introducing Roblox. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Unbelievable! Strikers! Super! Strikers! I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Tony, why does this tin can get to travel with the team? Cuz, unlike you lot, Chip T. Chuckerson is going to win me a prize. The game? Against Super Strikers? Oh. The other difference between Chip and you lot is he can actually learn things. Copy movie star. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Um, I don't understand, Tony. He's gonna win me the robotics and football exhibit. Iron Tank are already the perfect robots. Ow! No foul, Cleon. No foul. And, and the Robotics, the robotics and Football, football grand, grand Prize goes, goes to... to... Yes! Yes! Roblox! What? Block, hmm? a quick interview, perhaps? I can translate if you want. Been learning Brazilian. Tell me about your robot twin. <laughs> Physically, Roblox is a perfect copy of me. How could they give the award to the robotic dimwit? He's just a mindless replica. So, how's this football? <laughs> I don't know. Prof says playing against Roblox would be extremely dangerous because he's all steel and hydraulics. Oh, really? So what will he be doing at Strikerland? Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League's greatest team. Ah, a tour guide. So, who do you predict will win this weekend? Super Strikers or Technicali? I predict Super Strikers will prevail in our next game. Nice. Block? Um, I'm only halfway through the Brislovian course. Uh, but if you ask me, Lena, I just need to score one goal, and Block will take care of the rest. Not if I take care of Block first. Copy, Block. Rogazer? <laughs> Rogazer? <laughs> now, if I can just figure out how to get your processor into that lumbering pile of nuts and bolts. Stop! First law of robotics, no water. Water will make you malfunction. You have given me an idea. Technology from previous inventions. For example, I used the analytical algorithm from the magic Roblox eyes. Water! Get Roblox out of here! Go! Go, Chip! Go!
robotics and football exhibit has been locked down with all robots inside. No, no, no! There was so much he still had to see to do. Sure, that was one awesome robot block, Prof. In hindsight, it would have been difficult to make a robot as good looking as me. This sucks. Schmargelfleur. Clear all robot parts. Send those tin cans to the scrapyard. Yes, it worked. And by the time Super Strikers realize they're playing with a robot, half the team will be injured. <laughs> Let's put the robotics exhibit behind us, okay? I don't want it affecting our performance against Technicali. Now, get to it. El Matador? Uh... My preparation will be purely mental, Coach. Reminding myself how awesomely amazing I am. <sighs> hey, Block. I reckon the best practice I can get is against the world's best defender. my foot off. What's up with you? You seem different. I think I'll do some training where I won't end up in hospital. Oh! These super strikers are too fast and skilled to be injured by Roblox. Hmm? But my players aren't. John J. Johnson Jr. Hi, Tony! I've come up with a strategy for you. Great. Let's hear it. Dribbling. Ah, uh, again? I thought the doctor cleared that up. He means dribbling a soccer ball. I want you to dribble straight at block, John J. Johnson, Jr. Isn't that kind of risky? With Roblox on the pitch, there'll be cards for Super Strikers and penalty kicks for Technicali. <sighs> I am Roblox. The robot block. The true legend is over there. Danger! 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 Danger. <laughs> Welcome to Striker Land, home of the Super League Trophy. Let's begin our tour. Circle. Okay, boys, let's call it for today. Be the block. What's up with you? You seem different. Hey, block. You coming? Shirtle, he lad. Something's up with block. He's playing weird, speaking weird. Shaw shakes, dude. It's not like you're an authority on Brislovian. Yeah, brother. Aren't you still learning? <laughs> Cassette tape? Yeah, latest technology in Breslovia. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Huh? Weird. Where are six to nine? Are you ready for the final level of Learn Brislovian? Here we go. Rarl clad zuzangle crad Rarl clad zuzangle crad blook to Got it. Huh. If my Brislovian isn't dodgy, then what's up with block? Next up, Zorg playing the circle bar. Oh! <laughs> Tapes! One of our main values at Strikerland is determination. 
Need to talk. Purple. Zergle Purple Gerb? The rather Grinlock, the Colonel for Boomba. He says he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Wow, Chicks, your Brislovian has really improved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Block! I know something's wrong. Your game, your Brislovian, it's like you're a different person. Kirkerblogger! Rob the Goon. Excuse me? Kirkler Blogger, Rob the Goon. You took my tapes. But why would you need to learn Brislovian? <gasps> because you're not Block. You're Roblox. You can't go out there. You, you can't play. You'll hurt people. Roblox, listen to me! Please remember to look after your belongings during the tour. And last out, last week's man of the match, Block! Oh, no! He's a machine, Brenda. Well, where's Shake? Aye. I thought we had a first choice 11 on both sides. Klaus, warm up. Eagle Eye, Grizz, get shakes. Oh, uh, what's the strategy again? Uh, you run straight at block. Oh, right. striker to do business with Block. <laughs> wow. So unlike Block. Yes! <laughs> I mean, what was that? Whatever happened to fair play? Keep it tidy, Block. Another one, and the card's coming out. Shakes! Shakes! I don't get it. Where did he go? Room? It's down the stairs, first left, second right, immediate right, and straight ahead. <laughs> Next up, the Strike Lounge Ball. Isn't it total luxury? <laughs> well, folks, all good things must come to an end. for the final part of our exciting tour. And it gets worse. The big defender. Penalty huh? to technicality. Block best clean up his act soon or he'll be sent off. Fasten your seatbelts because the final stop on our tour is the Strike Land Garage. Well, there you have it. 
Brenda technically go one ahead. All thanks to a surprisingly poor performance from Block. Who would have thought? First a missing striker, now a defender whose brain's gone missing? North. Uh, uh, Shakes? Don't let anyone know I've been here. That's not Block, it's Roblox. Yeah, and I always take advice from dudes hiding in lockers. He put me in here. He finds out you're onto him and you're next. You need to get him out of here. Block, what is wrong with you? Burger Blogger, grab the boom. Oh, I know this one. Block's uh, hitting the showers. Right, Block? Since when do you speak Breslovian? I've been taking night classes. That isn't block. It's Roblox. Hmm. Yeah, right. The dangerous tackling, weird Brislovian, cold, steely demeanor? Well, we're about to find out if I'm right. Why is that, Shakes? Robots don't take showers. <laughs> So if that's Roblox, where's Block? <laughs> Super Strikers drive only the coolest vehicles. Well, there's our tour guide. Someone switched the robot's processors. Shakes, you were right, dude. But where is Block? <laughs> He says we've got to go on for the second half, or we'll forfeit the game. Muggle Blah. Don't worry, he's got this. Can't wait for him any longer. Huh? huh? They didn't sub him? Looks like your work isn't done, John J. Johnson Jr. Block! Uh, you did it! Uh, I think. The second half is about to start, and Super Strikers have a lot of work to do. Well, Coach should have started by subbing Block. He's the reason they're losing. Ooh! Block's gonna finish John J. Johnson Jr. once and for all! And get what he deserves! A red card! My invention has learned to play like the best defender in the league. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. You're wrong. No one can play like the block. Lago Zerto! Lago Blogger! No, no, no! Whatever was troubling Block in the first half is ancient history. Nice one, brother! <laughs> Block, you did it! And where is your very scary twin? Huh? 
But how could a fair bomb? So I'm hanging from Strike the Land, Roblox about to ditch me, when suddenly I remember something. How could we not block? My new robot friend. And now for the final part of our tour. Ta da! Uh, uh, be the fly with the clothes. Smaggle Copy. Drop the boo. Eh, I think Prof should just make a robot that looks like me next time. But how do we know we aren't all robots already? Oh! Whoa! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes! You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blogger, blogger! Blah, blah, blogger! Yes! Brilliant! Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson! My Technovision glasses! The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this cunt, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one of a kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Uh, <laughs> dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on a striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. It stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up a defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! 
technically have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for technicality. Yeah. Who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to? Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. Oh. Hmm. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr., what are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh, the 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> You should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! 
El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm. Drama, check. What else? Action! <laughs> Ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, God. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador? I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I going to do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well. Hey, guys, yeah? what are you talking about? Uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador. It's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you. Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man. It works. I'm a genius. I was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, 
I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shanks. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Byrne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Technovision is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. 
Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Ooh. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. as the Grim FC two of us rock and rolls into town. And part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save, the Ghost Train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the Ghost Train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. The Tactinomicon! <gasps> Could someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, Whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we gonna need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. <laughs> I'm fine. Strikers! Super! Strikers! Super Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Mike! I baked you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you backjack me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the Goalie Cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from.
My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me! Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this brutal prince. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm. Delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. <laughs> this revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! Ah, that's what you think. But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Huh? Huh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Tectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, from the, the Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. 
Rule 4.73. A Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? What makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Strike a Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do, do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers are gonna need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train so far. <gasps> Big Bo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rulebook. 
The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Boo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You, you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Uh, don't tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? You're on the run from the law? I'll just let myself in, then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy! What?! No! No! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those clubs will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! Uh, the Ghost Train! Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Trudeau? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious Trudeau? Trudeau? Get your hot Trudeau! <gasps> gotcha. <laughs> huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. I 
positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> Only Big Bo stands between Grim FC and victory! Can he do it? Gimme! They're mine! Uh, two fans seem to be fighting over Big Bull's gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike Dawson. You did it! Oh, thanks, guys. This soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat, and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Technomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Oh, what have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. <laughs> 